Generic greetings. Have you ever wondered what would happen if Matt Damon was swapped out with a Maine Coon? That would make The Martian an entirely different film, and we can simulate that in the form of Moonbase. This is a game that I've featured a couple of times on the channel. Essentially, you are a cat for reasons, and you have to survive on a planet for an unspecified number of days. I quite like it. It's very cutesy, very enjoyable, and easy going, but also there's actually a bit of game here as well, so that's all good. And because of that, I thought we'd do a bit of a mini series. So let's go to new, and we need to name our cat. Obviously, we're going to go with Generic cat, and we have to change the colour, which is obviously spelt wrong. And we'll go with the channel colours, which is not here because I'm just a black and white boring channel. Okay, so we'll go with uh, that colour's quite nice. Actually, is there a dark? Oh, there we go, that's very nice. And then we can change the world seed. So we'll go for G seed, so if you want to play along, we know what this is, so it's G seed, and then you can change the day night cycle and the water, actually you can alter the water, but we'll stick with that one, and then we will say normal mode. So, land on the planet of LBO-325 and survive for 14 days. So they've gone with a Stargate SG-1 school of naming, which means it's going to be a Canadian forest or a soundstage, and it looks like it's neither, it is, well, it's fairly... Fairly brown. It's like a modern shooter. Anyway, what we need to do, if you're not aware, is survive on the planet, as I just said there. So, the way we do that is by constructing a base. And you have a certain number of resources to gather. So, we've got things like ore and plants and all of that sort of thing. And you've also got um, you've also got uh, oxygen to, to worry about because, you know, you are a cat in space and um, they do need to breathe. And because of that, we've got a suit on and that has a certain number of... Um, well, has a limited supply of oxygen. So, in order to generate oxygen, we have an oxygen generator, which is over on the right-hand side here, and it is that thing there. And you can see if we go inside the airlock, that'll cycle the airlock, and... Oh, I'm going to get some oxygen, and then it stops because we're full, but this will this will run out, and we need to power that up, and the way we do that is by putting some of this plant material in there in our biogenerator, but that's not sustainable. Having, basically burning your food source is probably, the, is probably not the way to go, so what I'm going to do is explore around here, get things like the ice and the ore and things like that, and then eventually we'll try and get ourselves a couple of solar panels. I don't know how long the series will last, probably only a couple of episodes at most because it's um not a long game by far and we, 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 we might die yeah who knows <laughs> i have no idea what's going to happen um but yeah we'll see how it goes so um i'm going to go over here and make uh, a shovel because that is useful for digging as you might imagine i'm, I'm sure you're aware what a shovel does um or you know hitting uh, people over the head with it if they're being Quite annoying, although I wouldn't recommend that because uh, it can injure them somewhat, unless it's a shovel made of foam, in which case, go ahead. Although, you know, speak to um, your physician first. So, we're just digging all this stuff out, and there we go, gather that. This is ore, and the ore will be able to, uh, we'll be able to trans, uh, we'll be able to, um, transmogrify that into some useful material so we'll uh, be able to make metal plates and then metal plates can be made into all different types of stuff it's just standard it's standard survival game you're getting resources turn them into other resources to survive for various reasons and survival games in general i normally am um, I always like the idea of them, and there's some of them that are quite good, some of them that are terrible, and a lot of them which are just sort of uh, the middle ground, you know, why am I doing this? You get to the point where I'm not really bothered, it's like, yeah, okay, so I'm getting resources to, resources to survive, so they had to get resources, and then, why am I here again? Why am I here? Okay, I'm doing taskings, right, move on. Um... But this game, because it's quite short and quite cutie, I quite, I, I just, I quite like it. I can, um, I can stomach it, for the lack of a better term. I think the last main, the last big sort of survival game I played on was uh, Conan, Conan Exiles, was it? And I really liked that thing. I actually was playing with a friend, actually, which always helps. If you're playing a co-op game with, uh, if you're playing a, um, a survival game with a friend, it sounds to be a bit better. Mind, it was hard. That was a difficult game. Anyway, gather all these resources. Uh, oxygen is about one third maximum, so we need to make sure that we don't uh, get to zero because otherwise we die and uh, actually i don't know if you die immediately i assume you start uh, getting injured you've got a health and hunger level as you can see and that'll slowly go down or rather the, the hunger is slowly going down but uh, the the healthy won't go down until we are really really out of oh hang on is that i don't know if that's supposed to be a crater or paw prints i'm hoping it's the former <laughs> 
<laughs> but I haven't played this for the last couple of updates, so I have no idea. Maybe it is the latter. All right, let's just power this up to max, and then we'll go inside, and then we'll get some oxygen. Now, you can see base status on the left there. It shows you the amount of oxygen in here. It's only max 50 at the moment because the base is quite small, but when you expand it, you will be able to... Uh, uh, get more. So I'm going to craft a shelter, uh, sorry, a, a smelter, which we'll put on the side of the shelter, and the reason for putting it there is when things are next to the generator, they will, uh, they will sort of share, it will share the energy around it. And as you can see, it's, um, it's going to keep this powered up, but as soon as I leave, it figures out, hopefully, that we don't need that bit, and nope, it has not. Okay. Sometimes, it will switch over. And generate other things. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pick up that. And that. And then I'm going to put it... Let me turn my torch on. And we'll put it there. And we'll put the smelter there. And we'll put them in there. And craft that. Which... Does seem to be working. But I'm guessing it's not powering the oxygen generator. But I can't see because these rocks do actually stop your light. And you can't go in between them. And that was a bad plan, putting all this stuff there. Because I can't get around now. Oh, I can get around. Um, yeah, it's actually it's actually stopped that. Look, there's no power going to it. No power going to it at all. So we have to worry. We have to take care of that. And the way to do it, I think, is to make a solar panel. So in order to make a solar panel, you need two of these cards. Uh, the electronics. And you need um, three wires per card. So I can make that without any real problem one and two you can also make a battery stores power that might be useful as well for later um, but let's just smelt some more metal plates turn off my torch because I don't need it um, I don't know if you can get rid of this thing this is your like main landing uh, what's it called the lunar lander I guess um, you need to I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can get rid of it I really don't know if we get rid of it. Anyway, let's craft a solar panel. Um, obviously, this only works in the day when you've got uh, rays on it. Not like god rays or anything. We're talking like actual like sun rays. Or not ray from like Star Wars. She was sitting on it. Don't think it would generate power. I think it has to be light. There we go. Or is she light? Or is she dark? Ooh, we don't know. The new trailer. Bit ambiguous. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm dying of starvation. That's something uh, I don't really... Oh, God, I'm slightly wounded as well. Uh, quick, 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 quick. Uh... Craft the meals, craft the meals, and don't die, don't die, don't die. There we go, okay. So, we have learned this. We've now learned that we can indeed die of um, starvation, and um, I, I, I did know this, I've, and it's not really a surprise to me, but what is a bit of a problem is that I'm really running out of the, uh, the plant required. So, let's see if we can um, fix that problem. Why is that not powered up? I'm guessing, ah, it's because... It, this thing is powering, or this thing is connected up all this way here. All Anything that's next to each other, it, um... Oh, let's make a rainwater collector. Uh, yeah, anything that's directly connected um, to that, I'm going to go left and hopefully we'll find some plants. Um, yes, we have. Excellent. Yeah. Anything that is directly connected will share power, but then it does, um... It does sort of move power around so if it can only power two buildings or two squares then it might uh, turn off like say the airlock that's ideal because it just lights or sometimes it will just say right turn off the smelter and you get the idea i'm just hoping that uh, we can get sooner rather than later some more plant stuff in fact oh hey, perfect here's some roots and the roots are good because we can make like a stew of some sort and we'll pick all this up there we can knee bother and then we'll gun back up. Sorted. Right. And is there a map? I know there is, but yeah, there is, and we know we need to be on the right. So I'm hoping, really hoping, yes, it is. It is actually generating oxygen. So we'll go in here, get some oxygen. That's fine. See what I mean? It's not actually. It, even though it's um, quite easy going at times, it's um, it's not just boring. Like it, it, you know, there's there's generally stuff to um, do. As in, you know, you don't die, but um, it's it's still got game in it. It's still got you know. You still have to worry about things like uh, I say, not like running out of stuff and thinking for the future. Like right, well, I'm gonna need you know rainwater collectors. I'm gonna need this, that, and the other. Um, I'm thinking of shifting the base. I think what I've got at the moment is fairly garbage. Although if I get rid of that and that, um, then we should be okay because we just need a jackhammer to do that. Jackhammer is, as you can see, a power tool for breaking up large rocks. Um, we can't make that yet, but hopefully we'll be able to later on. 
I need to probably get a battery. A battery would be very good because we'll be able to store power on the night. Uh, we do need two copper wires. Or they're not copper wires, they're just wire. Uh, so two of those. We then need a card, which is now done. And then a battery. Damn it, inventory is full. So I'm going to have to dump that there. You can dump stuff. You just press Q. Pick up the metal plates. Craft the battery. And then I don't know where we put the battery, but I'm guessing putting it right next to this would be the way forward. And that will hopefully power that up and more oxygen. And there we go. Cool. So um, will this have a readout? Will this slowly go up? I think there is a little mark there, which will probably start going up. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. So we'll open this up again. So we are currently on day two of 14. This is good. So we have survived a little bit. Um, we could make an oxygen tank. That's quite good for when you travel quite far. However, I think really what we need to go for is habitat module and then think about water. And then maybe a water supply and a... That's not an air, that's an air cleaner, it's a scrubber. Right, okay. Oxygen's still going down. Come on. There we go. Oxygen come back up. Right, sorted. Yeah, we need to think about um, getting a, a greenhouse. And for that, you need this uh, need conduit. And conduit is not a difficult thing to create. And actually, we can create a greenhouse now. Well, we can't because actually we can't. Let's craft more of that. Um, I'm going to put on the ground... Um, do you place all of the rocks or just one of the rocks? You place just one of the rocks. That's no good. Um, place that seed on the ground. Right, so I want to put in a greenhouse. And I think the way we'll do that is craft greenhouse and then put one. Have it like a greenhouse section oop north. Probably the best way of doing it, I think. Let's have a go. So up around here is where the green out green houses will be. We're gonna have multiples, obviously. Now, obviously, we're not generating power at all here. What I'm gonna do is just uh, fling a couple of these into that generator, just so we can start generating a bit of power and start smelting. So we can put now seeds in here, and I will put a seed in there. And obviously, it does require water. Now, I'm I believe we can create water from here, and yeah, you make a portable. You just make portable water, otherwise known as uh, water in a container. And then, yeah, you can actually water it, and there you go. So that will start to grow. This is good. We've got some more metal plates. We still want to make, obviously, more habitat modules. And then we'll, we'll need, eventually, to make a water supply. Holds water for your greenhouses, so we don't have to do it manually, you see. And then, um, eventually, we'll uh, have, well, when this hopefully, when it rains, we'll be able to... Uh, hopefully, when it rains, we'll be able to... Get these resources in a big water tank because at the moment it's like all manual. So there's not enough because we need boulders. So I think I'm having. I'm think I'm gonna have to have a little uh, explore. Oh, hang on, this is out of water now, so I better sort that out. This is the problem: is that if you're tending to crops, um, it can. I'm very hungry. Hang on, let me just eat that. There you go. Um, if you're not here to tend to the crops, then it just doesn't grow. There we go. Can you double water it? You can't double water it. Okay. So where haven't we went? Um, we haven't travelled very just direct south, so let's do that. I'm gonna, just going to dump that water on there and dump this here and dump that there because we might as well. Oh, hang on. You see that? That just popped up there. That is another one of these seeds. And that's good because we'll be able to pick that up and actually pick that up and then we'll be able to make another meal and then that gets rid of more things from our list anyway, so that's all good. So, um, still got my torch on for reasons, but uh, we don't need that. So let's just pick up some of these. Uh, we do need... Uh, we're looking for more scrap, and that would be ideal if we found some more scrap. Uh, I'm healthy plus. I assume that's better than healthy. But I'll take what I can get. Um, lots of more, lot more resources here. Root seed as well. And, oh, good grief. Look at the ore. When it comes to ore, we want for nothing. That's for sure. There we go. Doing a bit of prospecting. Not going to go any further. 
that way because I'm I'm mainly on the lookout for biomatter as well as scrap, which is a problem because I can't pick it up. Damn it! So I'm gonna have to get rid of something, and I think we'll save the root seed for now. Yeah, there we go. That's what we needed. We can come back. We know the seed's um, south. I don't know if it gets removed. I'm really not too sure. I'm assuming that it doesn't, but let's not. Uh, base is losing oxygen. Oh, that's bad. So there's a hole in our base. You do actually get damage, so we need to quickly run over here and repair that. And yeah, you can see it's damaged. There we go. We've fixed rate that. Job done. Good enough for government work. Uh, the problem is, though, that I'm running out of oxygen, and I quickly need to charge in here and close there we go we'll get some oxygen and i can see now the oxygen is actually higher this the maximum amount of oxygen in here is higher because we've got um, a bigger area let's just um make ourselves uh we do need one of those but we can't create anything because of we're pretty much full um drop the gear on the floor we need a box we need a box really really do need a box um Drop the shovel on the floor. We will create a jackhammer, which will get rid of most of these resources, or at least some of it. Um, yeah, we need a box. We need a... <laughs> Let's see if we can get a box, because uh, I need to... Oh, my good grief. Hang on. Wait, can we can we not make that? Yeah, we can. That's fine. Then we'll pick up that water, and then we'll water the plants. There we go. Right, we're going to put a storage box down there. But we've got this jackhammer now, so we can remove these. Ah, there you go. Look, it is now raining. This is good. And I'm actually going to make another rainwater collector because, well, I'll take what I can get when it's raining. Because otherwise we'll have a bit of a problem later on. It's uh, just going on the ground and since there's no issues with just having multiple ones, we'll be fine there. Right, so let's just get rid of these rocks. As you can see, it takes a little bit of time because they are big rocks. But they are now removed and we do pick up loads of rock, which we can then use to... Um, you can use them to make, like, uh, as far as I'm aware, like, patio, patios. Uh, it's all a lovely patio. Now, you can make it, um, oh, look at that, that's growing. You can make, um, quite nice, ooh, just got radioactive all there. Uh, quite nice pavement, yeah, pavement, yeah. Um, let's craft that. Uh, base losing oxygen, that's now fixed. Go inside, and, oh, it's now dark. Uh, what I'll do is... Fire up the biofuel generator. So it's always useful to have a biofuel generator. And um, we've now got water. Yeah, there you go. Look, we've generated three water. That's all right. That's fine. Um, inventory full can't collect. Yes, I'm aware. So I'm just going to dump that there. And I want to put the radioactive ore on the ground. Away from certain areas of the body. So... Uh, we need to make a storage container, which is... Oh, that's a garage. I was going to say, oh, that's very expensive. Card container requires two metal, which I should have there, which we should be able to then... Ah, this is the problem, that you can't craft. Uh, let me dump that there, not there. Is that right? Yes. Oh, yeah, it does, it does stack. Stuff does stack. So if I do that, will it stack? It does stack, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, the problem is when you try and craft something, if you don't have any space at all in your pocket, then, um, you won't be able to make it. So I'm going to pick up that. So, like, now, for example, I want to create that inventory full. Can't do it. Can't do it. Even though it's going to use both of those resources. I think that should be changed. Even just for quality of life purposes, you understand. It's created now. And then we'll put that storage there. Um, super power offline, so we can't even tell. <laughs> That's, I didn't know about that. I don't know if you saw that. I uh, I couldn't see my my oxygen or anything like that because the super power was offline. That's pretty. That's fairly good. I like that. All right, so we'll start smelting. And what we're gonna do is, uh, I think we need another solar panel. Uh, I think solar panels the way forward. There we go. That's watered. Another solar panel certainly is the way forward. I think. Um. I'm going to... Do I want to get rid of loads of these rocks? Got loads of rocks just in my pocket. I'm going to pick up um, some of this stuff here. And we will be able to... Ah, yeah, we can actually... That's good. We can actually use it on the outside, which is very, very useful indeed. So we're just going to, like, 
dump a lot of this stuff in there. Actually, I can use it from quite a distance away as well. I'm going to dump all the rocks in there and the seeds because there's no need to carry those around. So we do need another solar panel, which is not too bad. We'll craft a wire. We'll craft a card. Um, craft another wire. Craft a card. And then we probably won't have enough. Oh, we do have enough to make a, another solar panel. There we go. Okay, excellent. And again, craft more iron. Or metal. And the solar panel, we'll just put on there. And we'll just extend it down, you see. Might even go for more. If we've got a battery, then there's no reason not to. Excellent. Right, I think we're doing okay there. So we will leave it there. Not a bad episode, I don't believe. Um, uh, next episode, really continue on. We are currently on day 414, so not too bad. A couple of uh, issues along the way. Oh, currently very hungry, so let's have a nice hearty meal, and we are now fine. But yeah, you get the idea what the game is like. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Uh, next episode, we'll go ahead and expand the solar farm, I think, and then, if, because, you know, if we're just sustainable, then it's uh, better than having to use the bio generator all the time. And obviously, we do have a battery, so any spare that we collect in the day, we'll be able to store for later on, which is always useful. In fact, we can create another solar panel now, so that is fine. Um, I don't know if the solar panel... I don't know how the battery works. I don't know if it can um, generate enough power for for. Oh, we're actually out of I, we're out of actually out of ore. Very surprising. Oh, but we do have this done now. There you go. Excellent. Uh, so we'll put some more seeds in there. Seed. Plump. Job done. And we need to water that up as well. But we'll do that next episode. As I said, uh, yeah, I don't know if this battery will power everything. I don't know how it works, but uh, we'll see how it goes. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.